Alright, guys. Alright, we all live? Yes, let's do this. Alright, guys. What's up, guys? John here, Titan Lifestyle with Big Drew. What's up, guys? It's Big Drew. It's Friday. It's Titan Lifestyle. Had a little bit of technical difficulties. Thank yep. you for keeping patient with us. Yep. We're up and live. We're running. We got great topics. <laughs> yes. Another great day. More great events coming up. What That's we got right. going on, John? We got a ton of stuff coming on. So I'm waiting for everybody to get in. I appreciate it. Uh, sorry about the technical difficulties, man. You know, we try to run these as seamless as possible. You know, and technology is great when it works, right? Yeah. But when it doesn't work, you, you better adapt. And you better adapt real quick, uh, especially if you're doing something like this. We're doing it in, day in, and day out every week. So at that point, we want to make sure we, uh, we bring you guys some good production as far as that goes. But I see people are joining in right now. I appreciate everybody joining in. Give you guys all a second. But we got a great show. We're going to talk about therapy of the week, right? I mean, always, always therapy. Always the week. Deal with therapy. And this week. this week is nectar of the gods. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a great therapy. That's a good one. for sure. Like I always talk about people, and they always ask me like, what's the difference between some of these different therapies you guys have? Like nectar of the gods, Hercules potion, yeah. uh, tighten up, tighten complete. Like you know, what would be the best for me? Yeah, one or two ingredients to change the name, but it doesn't change the game. That's true. Hercules, nectar, they're all good. That's they're true. Good. True that. True yeah. that. Um, so let's let's just jump into nectar of the gods. And as you guys are joining in, you guys can answer or ask us questions, and we'll be happy to answer for you guys. So, nectar of the gods. Right? This is a therapy that, that was just vitamins, amino acids, and the difference between this one is it has a super antioxidant in it. So, it's pretty close to Hercules Potion, right? Um, the only difference is, is you're switching out a couple components in there. You're getting rid of the L-citrulline and the ornithine, and you're replacing that with glutathione, which is the super antioxidant. Now, what this therapy was really originally developed for was it was originally developed for recovery, blood flow, boosting immune system function, specifically uh, helping liver functions, ALT and AST. That was a big one for us. And having some of the other benefits like taurine for anti-cramping, proline for a collagen-based amino acid to help give you guys some lubrication of the joint areas, uh, L-carnitine, which was great for weight loss, nervous system. So this is really a good daily injectable mm. if you're really trying to fortify the immune system yeah. and get some of the other benefits of Hercules Potion, but you won't get them all, right? Yeah, and I noticed with carnitine too, even when I used to take carnitine by itself, mm -hmm. it doesn't give me a quick caffeine stimulant energy burst, yep. but it keeps my energy sustained throughout the day. Kind of like B12. So a lot of times people talk about carnitine, mm -hmm. fat burning, other effects it could do. Mm -hmm. But I noticed that my energy is sustained longer, kind of like the B12. So if you take the B12 with the carnitine, you yep. know, like with an ECA cap or something like that, yep. it keeps the, the energy going like better throughout the day. Absolutely. As opposed to just a boost. You know, sometimes people don't want a boost. They want sustained energy mm -hmm. when they're at work or whatever. So that's another good benefit of carnitine too. It's a real good one. Um, a lot of people were utilizing this, especially like during sick periods, like... You know, when we did have flu season or, you know, sickness season or even COVID um, when it was going on last year, this was a really, really big one because it had so many different ingredients in it. Like, so the main one in here is glutathione along with glutamine, arginine, lysine, proline, taurine, NAC, and L-carnitine. Um, so the big thing in there was the glutathione because usually people can get glutathione by itself, 200 milligrams per ml, where this has 60 milligrams per ml, so it's not as much but it's more for a daily type dose um, and you can take this and you're getting all the other benefits of all the other ingredients in there. So, you know, a lot of people were using this and they were using it in the morning time, which like I said, it's going to help your recovery. So if you're working out and doing any strenuous activity, glutamine's still in there. Arginine, blood flow, uh, vasodilator, great for pumps, still in there. Um, you know, like I said, you're getting rid of the L-citrulline and the ornithine that is in Hercules Potion, but you're replacing that. So glutathione. Glutathione's a big one. Free radicals, uh, boosting the immune function, lowering enzymes as far as ALT and AST liver enzymes. You know, giving your body more of a, a natural detox without making you feel like garbage. Yeah. There's you know? nothing worse than feeling bad. There's nothing worse than having all the nutrients in your body but yeah. feeling like crap. Oh, for sure. It kind of defeats the purpose. Another thing, too, is you could take glutathione. If you guys are taking 
Good down by itself, you could yep. take this combined with that. Absolutely. If taking Hercules, you could take Hercules combined with that. Yep. Don't look at two different things and be like, oh, this one has glutathione, this one has, I can't take them together. You can take them together. Yep. You can't do that with everything that we have at Titan. Yep. But that's one thing. If you guys are taking Nectar, you can't take it with the Hercules. For sure. If you're taking plain glutathione, you could take that with both of them as well. Absolutely. So, I mean, even with that, like, so if you said, listen, I want more glutathione, but I want all these other ingredients, that's where Drew's coming to play where, hey, listen, you can take Nectar. You can take most of that in there, and you yeah. can actually fill the syringe up with more glutathione. So if you want more glutathione in there, you can do that and also get all the benefits. Like you said, Hercules Potion, that's another one. So if you want to combine those different things, you can. All these water-soluble injectables like that, mm. you can combine together in one syringe if you really wanted to. Um, and you're not going to get any negative side effects. You're only going to get a lot more benefits out of it. Um, so it's a big one. Uh, you know, a lot of people ask me about that and stuff like that. And I think Nectar of the Gods, it's a really, really popular one, obviously. Um, it just, like I said, all depends on what your goals are and what you guys are trying to achieve. So, yes, so this is Mommy Trying. Um, what's up to everybody else out there? want to give a big shout out. I am Rizzy, King Allen, Tech Jim, The Alarm Advisor, Royer, Invalid, Invalid Character. Uh, um, you know, obviously for this. So, the, this Mommy is Trying. So, to answer your question, all of these therapies can be used for males and females. Um, and give the exact same benefits in a lot of different areas. Therapies. 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 So Therapies. guys, you don't want you don't want to give your wife or girlfriend one ml of sipinate because that's what the no, doctor prescribes you. No. When he's saying therapies, he's referring to the Titan therapies that are water based. Yes. So, yeah. so all your vitamin amino acid therapies, all your peptides and stuff like that. When it comes to hormones, different the, yeah. genders need yeah. different levels right. of those hormones you can permanently body. mess somebody up so that's, that's not for good. sure especially women guys not so much maybe levels a little bit yeah. but for women i mean if they're taking hormones how they shouldn't be taking them after yeah. a long period of time i mean yeah. certain stuff in large clitoris and stuff yeah. like that that doesn't go away yeah. you know deepening of the voice and yeah. stuff like that it doesn't go away so i mean more facial hair more body hair girls do not like yeah that and stuff. another thing is too is a lot of women i know that take hormones whether they're bodybuilders or not their voices change and what they do is they try to make their voice sound yeah. higher yeah but it's like me trying to make my voice sound ah. higher. so it's like i'm like yeah okay well that, and it's just like it doesn't it doesn't go yeah, really. it's uh, it's crazy. You don't want to mess around with hormones as a woman or a man, no, you know, if they're, no. if they're done incorrectly. You got to make sure you're blood testing. You're making sure the provider is prescribing the right amount of right. hormones for you guys, and then following up with that just to make sure it's within the right level. You know, one thing that we see a lot of the time is this: is that we get a lot of patients from other places, right? Whether it's pellets or they're on injectable testosterone through somebody else, and when we get their levels, their levels are is a woman their levels are skyrocketed into a man's level yeah. right and then that is if you say a long period of time you might say oh i feel great the first couple of weeks month right you got a little bit more energy your sex yeah. drives through the roof but if you stay on that track you're going to get these negative side effects and you can get all those benefits of the energy libido the, the you know the concentration factor from having the right levels in your body optimal mm -hmm. You know, obviously if it's low, you know, at that point you want to fix that. Make sure it's, you know, put back in range at optimal levels as a male and a female. Mm -hmm. But it's just a different dosing, you know, especially with, with testosterone, like injectable testosterone. Even creams and stuff. Like, I see some of these, these ladies and, like, I see them online. They're talking about, like, taking 20 milligrams at a time. And this is a cream or injectable. Now, injectable is going to hit you a lot harder, a lot faster. 20 milligrams weekly? weekly. Daily? Weekly. That's hard. I've, I've even heard some girls where they're talking about, you know, like one girl came over to us and some other place had her on propionate three times a week. At How 50 much? milligrams. That's that's 150 milligrams a week. That's almost what I take exactly. as, a, as a 290 pound man. Yes. Yes. No, yeah. And what happened was, was this girl started getting the negative side effects. Mm. And that was what really like, you know, the, the alarm started going off for her. She's like, I'm not a bodybuilder. Mm. Like, I just want to feel good. Like, I, you know, and I started feeling really good on this, but now I'm starting to get some of these different things that are happening. And then we explain it to her. Like, listen, yeah. if you take this masculine hormone, because testosterone is a masculine hormone, mm. it's still needed by both males and females, but it's more of a masculine hormone. So, yeah. Plus, like, even a female, if you take it for a long, extended period of time, your jawline, I mean, things will start changing. Yeah, it's kind of the equivalent when you see men, like we were talking about last yes. week, transgender. Yes. When men are trying to transition to be a woman, they take yep. estrogen. Yep. They try to make the estrogen go up. Those There's stuff that happens in their body that, you know. Yep. I'm not going to say it messes it up. If that's your life, it's your life. But the yep. stuff that happens in your body that you can't just 
you know, yeah. make it go away. It's not like you start growing <laughs> breast tissue, it yeah. has to be surgically removed. You yes. can't just take it off. Yes. So, I mean, the same with the women. You guys get out of whack. It's take, you don't want to go that route. No. It's not like having a pimple, you know, having a bad reaction. Oh, this stuff made me break out. Wait till yeah. the pimple goes away. This stuff, some of this yeah. stuff's not going away. It's not going away. Yeah, You're it's right. It's going to be noticeable, and other people are going to notice. And other people are going to be whispering behind your back, not yep. letting you know about it. Yep. It's not a good thing. Very, very serious stuff, guys. Yeah. So, you know, at that point, just make sure you, you're with a provider that knows what they're doing. And, and does actual full panel. I was oh, talking to man. people last night. They say, oh, yeah, we do a full panel. My guy does a full panel, too. Yeah. I was asking what they do. And, guys, our full panel is a legit, it's way legit up. full panel. It's <laughs> yes. not just the bare minimum to get you your stuff. It's yes. a legit full panel. Yes. So, and yeah. you might not know that. You're like, all right, well, what's a full panel, right? Yeah. And that's where you really got to compare the testing that's in it. The labs that you're getting in that full panel, yeah. right? Um, so, and we have the most inexpensive blood work in the country, whether it's a full panel or you just want to test one test out of there. It could be, listen, I want to do a hemoglobin A1C, like a three month blood sugar reading, or I want to do, uh, you know, like just a free and total testosterone. Yeah. Uh, but if you're going to do something like that, you're really checking into your free and total testosterone, you might as well check all the hormones and do a full panel. The reason is, is because if you just did a free and total testosterone just to see where it's at, and then you're like, oh, well, I want to get on the therapy. Well, we actually need some other blood tests to put you on that therapy. Mm -hmm. We're not just going to say, oh, your, your testosterone is all, we're just going to put you on it. Because as a guy, your prostate could be high, your blood cell count, red blood cell count, hemoglobin, and hematocrit could be high. Estrogen um, could be out of whack. Estrogen everything. could be out of whack. Like, the thing is, those places that do that, I mean, I don't, it's like, it's so obvious that they're literally only doing that because that's what they have to do. Yes. Like, say, say if you're a guy and you want to go and you want to do HRT, you ask, hey, I want, I want to get HRT, you know it's, you know, testosterone. And then all they do is say, let's test your testosterone and make sure that's low, and then we'll give you your stuff. It's like right. literally the bare minimum, minimum what you could do. Like Just like with, there's so much other stuff going on in testosterone. For sure. Like estrogen's bad. For sure. As a man, when your estrogen gets really, really high, it's like the worst because you're is. moody. Oh, yeah. I mean, Irritable, yeah, yeah. You're sensitive, you're crying over frisky commercials or Titanic. Yeah, you're watching like a reunion on YouTube about a military dad <laughs> yeah. meeting his daughter, and you're like, oh, hold on, hold on. Man, good, we though. man up. Yeah, that was pretty good, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's true. So you, you guys got to know what's up. What up, Hulk Squad? He's know in the house. Body. Know your body. Mr. Corrine and Dreams, how you guys all doing? Pity Clone ECO or Pity Clone Co. I have BB Pro. Neil, what's up, man? How you doing out there? Fitness DMK, what's up? Pat Russo's in the house, the Punisher. What's going on, you guys? Uh, yeah, this so, mommy is trying. I like the name. Yes, this <laughs> mommy is trying, y'all. Yes, we love that. So thank you guys for all joining again. So if you guys have any questions about any of the therapies or what we're talking about, just shoot them out. Um, we're going to kind of get through this episode a little bit quicker because I got to do something with my son, make sure he's good. So let's talk about the first topic of the day. So North Carolina Walgreens accidentally administers a saline instead of COVID-19 vaccine. As soon as I saw this, it reminded me of people that order from those research yes, companies. Yes. Where they don't even know what the hell the water is that they're getting. That's why yes. I tell you guys, get your blood work done, go a legit way. Yes. Um, but yeah, I mean, they were basically just giving, and if you guys don't know what saline water it is, it's basically water you can inject. It's like salt water almost. Yeah, it's like salt water, but you can't really, I mean, it's not tap water. No. It's safe to inject. It's, it's kind of like bacteriostatic yeah. water. Yeah. So it is safe, so they're not just giving them bottled water for people that don't know no. but yeah they're basically just giving them water without the ingredient in it that's crazy and they're charging them or i don't know if they're charging them or what but that's yeah that is crazy i mean this is this is nuts because i mean this is a, this is like and that's walgreens too. this that's is not, walgreens that's not your mom and pop's pharmacy right that's been there for 50 years in the neighborhood right this right is like a huge i mean you know for the vaccines it's been a big thing out there i was talking talking to drew and uh, r before this like pfizer actually came out and said listen now people are using falsified vaccines or or you know, bunk vaccines are selling these things out there. Um, yeah, you get more. I saw it. Wal I saw it Walmart now. Oh my god! Walmart. Someone sent me a link. Was it Amanda? I'm not sure. Someone sent me a link that said, uh, "I'll pull it up and post it or put it on my store. You guys mm -hmm. can find it." But yeah, basically, you could buy an at home. Was it a COVID or vaccine? It's a COVID test. COVID test. That's what it was. Yeah. At, from Walmart. I yeah. wouldn't trust it. Yeah, they have those COVID tests now. CVS is doing them. Like everybody. It's like a dollar store test. pregnancy test. Right. Like, would you really trust that thing? Right. For a dollar. But for these vaccines, it's pretty serious because people are really worried about it. So some people don't want the vaccines, especially right now, because of the Johnson & Johnson thing and the blood clots and everything like that that are going on. You know, so you know, a lot of people have halted on these things or don't want to get them. Or you have people like us or, you know, or me especially, like I got through COVID-19, totally asymptomatic. Like, I don't think I need a vaccine for that. 
but they're going to try to make these passports and play. Like I was, I was talking about it on Tuesday where when we were traveling to Turks, it was harder to go there than to come back. Mm-hmm. Like when we went there, I had to get a, a visa from Turks and Caicos with uh, a vax or excuse me, a negative COVID test within five days. Uh, I had to get health insurance that said it would cover the COVID-19 testing, um, the hospital stay if I needed it, transportation, like all this mm-hmm. stuff. And then when I went to the airport, you can't check it online like 24 hours like you usually do and get your boarding pass. Mm-hmm. You had to go in and actually talk to an administrator there and then you have to show them all this stuff again. Thing is, right now, when not that many people are traveling, that wouldn't be. What's going to happen when you have, like, oh, Christmas Eve, thousands of people? I'm to do that you. same process is going to delay. I mean, it's, travel it, is going to be a pain. It, it, and you're going to see a lot more people driving. If it's in if it's in the country, yeah. you're going to see a lot more people. Like, I'd rather drive five hours than deal with a five-hour airport yeah. headache. So, domestically, you could still check in online and stuff like that, right? But when you go international, that's what it was. And then when I went up there, because they have, like, these barcodes for every country and they'd scan the barcode and would tell me exactly what you needed to even travel there wow. so and then they're, they're pushing this verify which is an app which you might as well call one of those immunization passports yeah. and it has you upload like your negative result or your yeah, your, your, I, your vaccine information and like crazy stuff I think that'd be good to have like something on your phone where you yeah. could literally go there you know the same reason why if you go to the airport and you scan your ID before you get on the plane they say yeah. oh, put your ID boop why not just have your phone where everything is automatically sent there? Just yes or no. Yep. With all the information that he just gave, like yep. you set it up all beforehand. So that way when you get there, and he, just pull your phone out and click it, and just like you have your ID. Sure. I mean, that's crazy to go through all that process. But then again, this is the first time that this has happened. Right. So this is like a learning experience for these places. Yeah. After a while, they'll probably be like, this is taking too long. Absolutely. We'll get a quicker process. They're going to have to. But that seems sure. like a huge headache. Um, this mommy is trying. Hey, listen, if you have any questions, guys, we service nationwide. All you guys got to do is call or text 727-389-3220, and the staff would be happy to answer those questions. If you're looking for more of a direct question, please DM us in, in Instagram because they have a lot of things going on. So I want to make sure we answer your questions, but that's just another thing. So, um now, the, the funny thing about this thing was when I traveled back to the United States, the United States is requiring a negative COVID test within three days of travel back to the U.S. So we, the, all the resorts there in Turks, they were doing it for free. Hmm. So they gave the test. It was done. We got the results. When we went back to go you know, into the airport, nobody checked the negative result to come back in the U.S. Nobody in Turks. And then when I got back into Miami, you have to go through customs and stuff like that. Hmm before you would like fill out your information on like a kiosk stand then you go up to the booth mm. now the kiosk stand is, is gone and then when we went up to the booth they didn't check any of the negative results whatsoever <laughs> she was like I got these damn pieces of paper and like for what like you know they didn't even check these things they probably have those just in case someone says probably and just in case someone's complains you'd be like no I'm yes in case so you could show I don't know I like I said so it was it was harder to get out of the country to get back in I mean, it was just it was kind of crazy. So, uh, April first, the mandatory that says 14 days. something. That's, that's not a good thing. Oh, so New York finally is going to lift their mandatory fourteen day quarantine. Or oh, April first, they did. So that's good, man. Luckily, you know that's good because I know New York. Was so that means if you go to New York or if you come, how does that? So you don't have to quarantine. So before, if you traveled into New York, you had to quarantine for fourteen days. Oh, okay. And I know that's how some of the countries are too. So depending on what islands you went to and stuff like that, once you got there, you had to quarantine for fourteen days. So if you're within the U.S., you're good though. Yeah, now you're with you in the U.S. You're pretty yeah. much good to go wherever you're at. Um, you don't need a no negative COVID test to travel in some of these places. I don't know different states might be requiring different things. But how's yeah. Canada handling this? I haven't heard that much. Lockdown. About, lockdown. They're locked down. Wow. So they've so been. I haven't really heard that much about Canada or anything. They're in lockdown. They've been in lockdown. But they've been in lockdown for a long period of time. That's why. The Raptors are playing here? Actually, that's right. Yeah, that is. Right? See, I thought they just came here and they were stuck for some reason. I didn't no. know the whole... So, literally, they can't go to... They have curfew, all that stuff? They can't go back. Wow. That's why all so the Toronto Raptors are here. But, I mean, in terms of their freak health care and all that, how is it working with... You know, over here, they charge you for vaccine. They charge you... I don't know. So how is it working over there? I mean, they're going to give it for free. They have to. Yeah, they give it for free, but you're they locked out. I mean... You're locked down. So, I mean, I don't know if you can go in maybe into medical places and get the vaccine and stuff like that, but they're getting hit really hard with one of the variants. I think it's mm-hmm. a Brazilian variant right now. It's running rapid through Canada. Yeah. Even, you know, I would I didn't even think about it because, you know, I'm a baseball guy, and I didn't even think about this. They got the Toronto Blue Jays. Yeah. So, I'm, like, talking Bring to my dad. Tampa. They're here. 
in Damn. Dunedin. Wow. <laughs> They're playing at their minor league field. I'm like, oh, man, I'm telling my dad. I'm like, we're going to see a damn game oh, there. Yeah, that's, like, uh, that's, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, because, I mean, even the Tampa Raptors, we went to a Raptors game, and they have, um, I have noticed online now they have Tampa Raptors jerseys. Yes. Like, Those jerseys are tight, too. <laughs> yeah, I like them. Tampa Raptors jerseys. So uh, we're going to see. I mean, maybe, hey, listen. We Make might it get, permanent. We need a team. Back that's there. what I'm talking Make about. Make it permanent. You know, yeah. Tampa Bay is definitely one of the most uh, sought-after places to live right now. Like, it's just going crazy. We're booming in all Tampa aspects. Bay Titans. I know they have a minor league team. Yes. Tampa Bay Titans. Let's get a pro team. Yes. Tampa Bay we Titans. need a pro team for sure. That'd be awesome. Can someone do my shots? All right. So, are you in the area, Pity Clone? So, if you're in the area, we would be happy to do your injections for you, to teach you how to do your injections and stuff like that. There's also what? great tutorial videos. Also, what shots you, I mean, not to be too personal, but where are you injecting these? Because if it's something... Or are you injecting already? Have yeah. you done them? So that's what it is. If you so, need help with it, definitely ask somebody or you don't want to just, I mean, if, you, if you're nervous about it, yeah. it is a simple process. I mean, a lot of people have done it a million times. Yeah. But if you're not sure about it, it's better to have, you know... For sure. Someone show you the right way or you know, have someone there with you. You don't want to go in at an angle. The main thing is go straight in. Yes. If you go in at an angle, the needle is so small. If you're losing a 30 gauge half inch, it's going to look like a pimple. Yep. It's not going to be infected. It's not going to be any type of problem, but it's just not going to go in. And what happens is it's going to be literally sitting sub Q, which is right underneath your skin. It's going to be sitting there. Yep. So it's going to be like a waste. It's yep. going to disperse. You want to go into the muscle, make sure. Whatever muscle you put in, make sure it goes straight in there. 90 degrees. All the way to the bottom of the needle, too. I see. Some, don't just put the tip yeah. in and squirt it in there like you're doing some, some CJ. Like, you yeah. punch a little bit sub-Q. No, it needs to be in there. That's right. That's what right. What problems I've ever had, well, I haven't had, but have heard people had them. It's not infection. It's not pain. Right. It's because they didn't go far enough. Yeah, they do a subdermal, basically, yeah. and it gets caught in there. Yeah. It will absorb in there, but it just takes a little bit more time to do. Where When you're going to go in a muscular, you're not going to have any issues. It's not going to look like you have a bump there or anything yeah, like I'm, that. I'm thinking money. I'm like, man, I just... That's money right there. I want to make sure every shot is exactly where it's supposed to but be. But absorb yeah. every little bit yeah, of that yeah. stuff, for sure. Uh, all right, pills first injections. All right, so pills first injections. Uh, I'll get to that in one second. Sarah Jean Lifts, what's going on? How you doing? Thank you for joining us. Joe Land and, Joe Land and ba Mayberry, what's going on? How you doing? Big Reds out there. Uh, so she, oh yeah, Vivita, she's in Brazil. What's going on? How you guys doing? Thank you guys. The oral seems to be more convincing than needles. So let's break this down. Oral versus injection. Okay, so. What is it being used for? So let's talk about Hercules Potion. The Hercules Potion is an injectable amino acid blend, right? It has glutamine, arginine, ornithine, lysine, L-citrulline, proline, taurine, and NAC. Now, the difference between an injectable version and oral version, because I have tried the oral version. I've tried to put it into a capsule for some patients because some patients have a phobia of needles that didn't want to do injections, even though it's a little small little insulin in a needle that they're doing. The absorbency rate is a, is a lot higher, okay? Transportation rate of it getting into the body, into the bloodstream. Exactly. A lot faster. If you guys ate a high fat meal or even like peanut butter or coconut oil or something high fat meal, and then you take oil right after that, it's like literally getting lodged into the oil and it's like a slower release. It is. That's why they say, the thing is why they say take orals, and some of them, they say take orals in an empty stomach. Yep. But then you have another problem where you may feel nauseous because yep. there's nothing in there. Yep. I'm a firm believer in injectables because... Yep. And another thing, too, is if you take an oral, then go drink a gallon of water and go outside sweating, or even if you're not sweating, you're going to excrete a little bit of that. Mm -hmm. It's going to come out through you, whereas it's injectable. You're getting every last microgram, milligram, whatever it is, yeah. you're getting right to the muscle, and it's not going to affect your food. I know if I, even if I take Advil or something for a headache, ibuprofen, if I have, say, peanut butter or a high-fat, Avocado. If I I use a lot of MCT oil, tea oil in my shakes. Mm -hmm. If I put that all over my food, if I eat that, I got, my headache doesn't go away right away because mm -hmm. like that oil is slowing it down from going mm -hmm. everywhere. Whereas empty stomach, I take an Advil, or if I eat like you know like an apple or water, whatever, mm -hmm. just a little bit of something, it, it's quicker. Mm -hmm. So kind of like the same thing. Like if you guys, and the thing is, when you take an oral, like you have to time it out so prep. You have to be like, okay, I'm not gonna eat any peanut butter. I'm not gonna do this. I'm not going to do that. Mm -hmm. After I eat it, after I take the oral, I'm going to wait a little bit to eat because I want to make sure it absorbs. And yeah. I've even gone so far myself before when I used to take orals is hold myself from urinating. Oh, wow. Because I'm Try like, no, I just in. took that pill 10 minutes ago. I'm going to pee it out. <laughs> Injectable is so much. Better. Injectable is good. So even breaking down the gastro tract going down there, right? So let's talk about absorbency. Absorbency is a big thing. So 
taking something orally, you're talking about 15, 20%, and I'm being very gracious with that number of what you're gonna absorb. With an injectable, you're talking about 70, 80, you know, and then the other thing that's gonna go past that is gonna be IV, which you're not gonna be practical to do at home every day. And it's gonna take a lot more time, where this little intermuscular injection with an insulin needle, you're talking about 70, 80% mm. right away, or maybe higher, it just all depends on the person too, right? And how they metabolize and stuff like that. But with an oral, you're losing a lot of it, you're not gonna get the exact same effect and I've tried this both ways. Um, so at that point, that's where the injectables really come to play. That's why, and you're, you're also not putting any stress on the liver. We didn't even talk yeah, about that. Yeah. Your liver is, is, is your filter to your body and it's breaking down everything you're putting in, orally especially. So you wanna put a lot more stress on there. So at that point, this is bypassing the liver. So you're bypassing the stomach, you're bypassing the liver, you're getting everything you need. Yeah. And that's really where the benefit's at out there. And that's why so many people that we have as patients have been doing this over nine years. Mm. It's because it works and it works a lot better. Mm. I'll Pepsi challenge it all day long for an over-the-counter supplement to a prescribed medical injection like this. And I guarantee we're gonna win every single time. And it's not just about winning on paper, but what it does for your body, exactly. how you feel. Exactly, what you're getting How you feel is it. very important, because if you feel like shit, then what's the point? It doesn't. Your stomach's hurting and you're nauseous, you feel like you're gonna throw up, yeah. then what's the point? Like, what, I mean, it's no kind of like those, those infomercials where the side effects worse than what they're trying to cure. The only thing that we would do, what up, Scott, how you doing, man? What's going on, Big Rep? Um, so, with this, so, Pity Clone Co. Um, so, trying to cut up. Now, ECA Sac Plus, that's an oral form that we wouldn't do an injectable because if we did an injectable ephedrine and caffeine, it is going to be way too much for somebody and it could cause a lot of different health issues. That's where the oral on that would possibly work. Or MK, where it's an oral GHRH, that's going to work really, really well and you're going to get a lot of benefits from it. See, the thing is, when we're saying orals work, I mean, we're saying injectables work better than orals. Yeah. We're talking about drugs that can be injected orally and... Um, Taken orally or injected. Yeah, orally or injectable. So it's yeah. like certain things you can't make into injectable. Yeah. So we're not going to say that, you know, you can make everything into injectable, this and that. So if, there's a, if you have to choose between oral and injectable, always go with the injectable. Gotcha. Yeah. For sure. Absolutely. I agree with that 100%. Hawk Squad said he's 60 days from injury. He's Feeling doing great. 315 times 10 in squats and 315 times 10 in hamstring growings. Feels great. No problem so far thanks to BPC-157 and TB-500. Nice. That's good. So it's a healing peptide, guys, from here from Titan Medical Center. And at that point, we know what you're going to get. It's coming from U.S. licensed pharmacy. It's prescribed. It's not coming from a research site. It's not coming from China. It's not research labs only. On <laughs> yeah, the label. Research chemicals where it says no human consumption, but you're still consuming it. And they're yeah. trying to sell it like that. Yeah. You know, this is not for that. So at that point, you're going to get the real deal. And that's why it's a little bit more expensive because there's testing on this stuff, guys. It's not like I'm just getting it like from some factory in China. I'm like, oh, I'm just going to box it up and send it out to everybody. Yeah. It doesn't come from us. It comes from the U.S. licensed pharmacy. So that's the big difference in this. So I'm great. it's great to hear that, Hulk Squad, big time, man. JGL Golf, what's going on? Elmo Lovin' NY, what's going on? Uh, Lezzy dot Jack, right? So... Leslie, she's she's taking the BBC one five seven two. So that was another big, big, great testimonial as far as shoulder. She has these sol shoulder issues too, and and sleeping at night with shoulder issues, especially if you have torn labrums and stuff like that. It it sucks. It hurts. You wake up. You're in pain. You're like trying to move. You're more in pain sometimes. Like even with the slap tear, I have a fall out of place. I've like click it back into place. It's just it yeah. sucks, man. It, it really does. Like yeah, my shoulder pops when I go above my head. Yeah, I stop. Man. I stop going above my head with a. My lat pull downs and stuff. Because I used to always do behind the neck, behind the neck, above yeah. the head. Now everything's right here because as soon as I go up, I hear that click. Yep. Uh, no. Right. You know, listen to your body. So everybody. Literally listen. Click, like, click. No. Your body <laughs> can be built a little bit different. Like me and Drew's body can be built different. Like the way that I push out might be different from him. So that's where, like, you know, you find your angles of where you want to be. Yeah. And, you know, that's one good thing with dumbbells compared to a like a like a bar. Like a bar is going to keep your arms in place to where they're at. Whereas if you have dumbbells, you do have more freer movement per se. So if it's hurting you in one way, maybe you can lift it and go into another way and still work mm -hmm. or activate those muscles. But don't be afraid to use machines, guys. Too. Especially a lot of bodybuilders, big guys, they're like, oh, I don't want to use machines. It's, yep. it's not manly. It's not a bodybuilder. Use a oh. machine, especially if you have shoulder injuries. Because just like what he's saying, if you're doing a dumbbell fly, you have to stabilize the weight from going forward and back. Yep. That rotation is your shoulder. Yep. So if you're using a machine, you don't have to stabilize for it. You can just sit and push. Isolate movements. So it's isolated all the way. So if you have shoulder injuries, I don't really recommend dumbbells. Yep. Um, 
shoulder press, bench press, because yeah. you have to stabilize not only that, to get the dumbbell up into place, yep. you're rotating your shoulder with no warm up. Yep. A lot of guys grab, even if it's a 50, 60 pounds, not heavy, they'll grab it and they'll literally go right into a bicep or like a <laughs> lateral movement and then start curling. I'm like, you didn't even warm up. Right. So, I mean, eh, don't trust be afraid me, to use those machines. Hoist makes great machines yeah. if you have injuries. And the older you get, man, warm up a little bit. Get those, get the blood flowing to those muscles, man, because you know what? You put more wear and tear in your body every year. Yeah. Uh, don't be afraid to wear a sweatshirt. Don't be afraid to wear an elbow yeah. sleeve if yeah. you need to keep warm. Yeah. Uh, keeping your joints keep warm your, is very keep important. Keep tight. Yeah, very important. It is. It definitely is. That's why I hate AC in gyms. And All right. So <laughs> DBA, BBF said late dropping in. What's recommended for males over 51 to slim down, shred up, and build muscle? So, ECA, definitely. ECA for sure. But at 50 years old, then I got asked the question, have you had your hormones tested? Because mm -hmm. at that point, if your testosterone is low, your metabolism is going to slow down. You're going to put on more body weight. You're not going to be able to build the lean muscle mass like you want and slim down as easy as it was before possibly. Mm -hmm. So that's the first thing. Make sure that's in balance. Everything is optimal, ready to go, and harmonic balance. Next thing after that, obviously, ECA stack plus. ECA. And I would also say at your age, uh, IGF-1 would be good, good for IGF-1, like for sure. At that age, too. Absolutely, 100%. But there's a, there's a couple different ones out there. CJC 1295 would, would possibly be good mm -hmm. for you. Um, so, listen, different people, different therapies. And we customize a personal regimen for everybody. So... You know, everybody's different. Health history might be different. Family history might be different. Goals might be different. That's what we're here for. That's what our medical providers are here for. Answer your questions. Personalize a regimen that's going to work the best for you and give you the best bang for your buck. All right. Uh, the real J33. Loving the MK677, John. Is it okay to take for long periods of time? So, yes. So, I told you, Real J, because we were talking on Tuesday about this. He just got his packages and just started MK that show. I told him, you're going to be hungry as hell. Yeah, Ten minutes I later, was, he was starving. Yeah, I was talking to my boy, Rashad. He's down in uh, Hollywood. He said he gained 15 pounds on MK. <laughs> He's like, But he was like 15 good pounds. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, anybody can gain 15 pounds. That for good sure. is the key word. So. Absolutely. Um, so, yes, yeah, it's, it's okay to take for a long, standing period of time. Usually 60, 90 days, and then give, your, give yourself a month rest, right? And at that point, you can go right back on. And you can also change over from MK to CJC 1295 in that month. Let's say it's like a maintenance month, right? And then go right back into it. You can also go to IGF-1 if you're doing blood testing with us and stuff like that, which would be another game changer and switch back. You know, you can do this with these different things. DJ, RF, R, DJ SR Vaping Live, what's going on? My man Jay Jacobs out there. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? Hope all is well. Mirror Hasten, what's going on? Machines are dope, particularly for the age. No embarrassment here. So there, there should be no embarrassment with using a machine. Yeah. Yep. No embarrassment whatsoever, um, especially if you're getting back into things, right? Because you can isolate movements. You can just, you know, start off and start, you know, getting back into the lifestyle and start activating it. Yeah. Or if you're having problems, like you're injured, these are where machines really come into play. Even if you just want to throw in the machines, you know, some machines, some yeah. free, free, free um, if it starts feeling yeah. funny in your shoulders, try something different. A machine, if it doesn't, you know. For sure. It's, it's, there's a difference between, like a lot of people say, deal with the pain, deal with the pain. Nah, man. You want to deal with the muscle pain. You want to deal with the pump. But if it's right. tagin, tendon, ligament, sharp, tweak type of pain, yeah. you don't want to push through that. That means no. something's going on. And you Switch up the move. Things. Now, muscle pump, it's burning. Shoulders are burning. Can't even lift. Everything's on fire. That's the good pain. Right. But you don't want sharp, clicking, annoying, because then you're going to have another problem. Right. Then you're not going to be able to work out. If you feel it going, don't be like, i got to finish my set. No. Nah, mm -hmm. Just, you know, keep it safe. Yeah. You drop the weights. Yeah. Put it down. You know, start stretching the area out. Hopefully, it'll be okay. And you could possibly go back to it. But you could possibly be doing more damage if you have that mindset. Yeah, just grinding and grinding. Yeah, like, I don't push, care. I'm pushing it's good through the to push through. <sighs> yeah, it's good to push through if you're a runner and you're yeah. trying to, It's good to push through if, you know, you're doing push-ups yeah. and trying to get a couple of... It's not good to push through pain no. that's injury-related because, again, you're going to cause more injury. Especially weighted. Especially like that. Especially yeah. if you're doing heavy weights, too, especially. So. Yeah, don't numb yourself up, too. Old school guys will take uh, injectable... Yep. And uh, new bane and uh, injectable, basically like an injectable yep. opiates guys used to use back in the day, yep. where they wouldn't feel anything. No, so they wouldn't feel the muscle. They can keep working out all day long, get a pump. Yeah, but you don't feel that injury either. Right, and you're doing and more you damage a possibly. Hell of a problem. Yeah, you know, and that that did create a lot of uh, addiction. You know, to yeah. pills, pain pills especially. Yeah. You know, it was a big thing. Um, you know, with a lot of different athletes, even Brett Favre back in the day, these football players get all kinds of damage. He was going through opiate, uh, you know, 
addiction really, really bad when he was playing for Green Bay. I remember him doing that and then having to get off. Like, it was, yeah. you know, for him, it was like, man, it was like, I was taking, and I believe it was like eight to ten pills a day or something like that. Yeah, I know um, Ronnie was Ronnie taking, Coleman. Ronnie was taking, I think, same, This is oxycodone Ronnie was situation, taking. Yeah. And those are really serious because the difference between hydrocodone, uh, you know, when you're talking about a Vicodin to oxycodone is hydrocodone pills like Vicodin have, um, they have oxycodone in there, right? Yeah. That's the main ingredient. The other thing, like a Percocet. The other difference is, though, is they would have aspirin in there, acetaminophen. Mm. So that would damage damage the liver. So with Tylenol. These, yes, acetaminophen yeah, yeah, especially, yeah, yeah. right? And that's the active ingredient in there. Right. So what happened was these... these no, you said aspirin. I was just making sure. Oh, I'm sorry. Tylenol. It's acetaminophen. Tylenol, acetaminophen. It's, it's yeah. acetaminophen. Um, so at that point, what, what these drug companies did was they were like, all right, so how can we make this better without doing liver damage if, if patients need this dose? Mm. And that's when they went to oxycodone. And oxycodone is just pure oxycodone. There's no acetaminophen. Mm. So you're not going to do liver damage, but you're going to get a hell of a high. It's like, it's it's a pharmaceutical grade heroin. That's what it is. Mm. And think about it. If a drug dealer on the street wanted you know, to do heroin, right, it, it's, it's probably like broken down with some other stuff and everything like that. When you're in a lab and you're doing this legally and you got chemists and pharmacists in there, they can make the most superior yeah. drug that's going to like hit everything it needs to and, and not have any of the garbage in there. You can be instantly addicted to But highly addictive. Like highly some people addictive. be instantly addicted. Highly addictive. Yeah. So, uh, so no hormone test yet for DBA. So guys, get your blood test done. Tight Medical Center can help you guys out wherever you're at. We have the most inexpensive lab costs out there so you guys know what's going on. If you're doing things with us, if you want to possibly do things in the future, or you're doing things by yourself, Guys, it's always good to at least get the blood work done to see where you're at, see what's going on. So if you have to make any tweaks or changes or you find something in the first stages per se, you can fix it real quick instead of letting damage go on for long extended periods of time or not feeling optimal. That's yeah, no more thing. Dr. Google, guys. Don't don't yes. try to figure it out on your own. Yes. I was the same way. People said, who's your, who's your primary care physician? Google, because I used to just Google everything. <laughs> yes. No more. No more. So, Real Jay, so you've been taking the morning, and that's awesome, because you're going to get hungry. Like I said, you want to cut out the hunger spell with MK677, take it at night right before bed. Um, and three months is what I said. Three months on, one month off is usually what it do. And like I said, you can switch up to other different therapies to kind of replace it uh, as far as the maintenance therapy, and then go right back on if you want to after that. Donut Killer, what's going on? Rashab, how you doing? I have clicking in my shoulders. Is that joint or the labrum? So it could be, listen, it could be a joint area, it could be a labrum. That's it could even be scar tissue. It could be scar right. tissue too. So that's kind of where, you know, maybe an MRI might be in place. And you usually can get an MRI even if it's out of pocket for like 250 bucks. Um, and then it'll actually tell you exactly what's going on in that area. You'll know exactly if there's any damage in there or if not. Um, and that's what I'd recommend if, you're, if it's really causing you a lot of issues. If it's clicking and you're not feeling a lot of pain, don't really go crazy in a movement that's going to make it worse. But, you know, just pay attention to it. If it gets any worse, then I would, you know, possibly look at maybe possibly getting an MRI. If it doesn't, you can kind of go away. Maybe even BPC-157 could take some of these issues away from you. So you might want to try that too as well, okay? What does Nectar of the God do? Okay, so we talked about Nectar of the God. So Nectar of the Gods is a, a vitamin amino acid and super antioxidant blend. It has arginine, glutamine, uh, glutathione, NAC, proline, taurine, L-carnitine and lysine. So it's great for immune system boosting. It's great for recovery. It's great for blood flow. Um, it's also great for like super antioxidant to build the immune system, like I said once, but clean up the liver too. Yeah. A lot of people have fatty livers or they're damaged or putting more stress on livers with orals and stuff like that. Or you want to get rid of free radicals. That's another big thing out there. So uh, this is something that can combat a lot of these different problems. John, uh, time check for you. How much time do you Time have? check. So I, I got to probably about 10 more minutes, guys. Um, all right. So next thing on there was new drone flying rules, allowing to fly over people in the U.S. Crazy. Yeah, crazy. I'm interested to see how many people are going like, to try to shoot these drones, though. I don't know, man. I mean, because what this is basically doing, the FAA, is it's basically opening it up because UPS, Amazon, all these places already got permitting to use drones. For deliveries, yeah. so it's gonna be really so crazy. Come flying, just dropping your driveway and just fly That's off. That's it. That's it. And, and you know, we we've obviously flown a lot of drones here. I've got a ton of drones. I think I got five drones for myself alone. Uh, and I'm a big drone guy. I love them. So at that point, like you know, to fly over people, they had to be in participating, or it wasn't legal per se. Mm -hmm. You get in trouble. Flying them at night was another big problem. Um, so the FAA has opened this up now. 
And basically, what's going to happen is, is these drones don't have, like, remote IDs. So you can, really can't track drones. I'm sure, like, DJI has tracking on their drones. But that's in China. That's not in the U.S. Mm -hmm. So now the U.S. is making manufacturers create this remote ID. So at that point, if something does happen or you do something, they could probably track down that drone and then track it back to you. And then you can get a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just watch out. If you are flying drones and stuff like that, just make sure you're adhering to FAA law. You know, because you're basically a pilot. It's an unmanned flying pilot, uh, flying vehicle. I don't like it, though. I mean, I, I saw one a couple couple months ago right outside my window just buzzing. Oh. Around. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it wasn't scary. stopped outside my window, but it was, like, flying across my floor, like, the windows. And That's it was kind scary. of, like, going around. And then it, like, went around to the building next to me. And it was kind of just, it was just kind of buzzing around. I mean, it could have just been someone just got tested it out. But the simple fact that I could... Look you out my way. Look out. I'm sitting on the couch. I look over and I just see something buzzing. I was like, <gasps> facing me. Like, come on. See, now that's the big thing. Like, it doesn't even have to sit there. Like, those cameras are in 4K, yeah. 8K. They just pan past your window. They've recorded everything through. Yeah, and they can put it in slow mo. They, they can, can do see anything. everything. Yeah, see, that's so, craziness. It's only a matter of time before someone literally shoots it down. Yeah. Or, you know, if it's close enough where they'll knock it down, this and that. Yeah. I honestly would have no problem doing that. Yeah. Like, if I go on my porch or if I'm outside or if I see one close to me, Within arm's reach or something like that, the thing is getting smashed. Absolutely. And I'm Absolutely. gonna have no problem. As soon as the owner comes, I'm gonna say, hey, I don't, I don't care. Like, don't get right. that thing away from me. Right. You're, you're invading you're, my privacy. Yeah. It's basically like, basically like you're standing outside my window with binoculars. Yeah. You're like a like, peeping tom with a drone. Yeah. No. No. Get that thing out of here. And before there, I break this there thing. are people out there that have used these drones for, for negative things like that, like you know, to, to look in women's windows. Yeah. And, and or stuff even like spy that. On. I mean, I could see if it's like, I could see if you know, I'm a construction owner. I own a construction company. I'm going to check out the job site, see what the guys are doing, make sure they're working, buzz around a little bit. Mm -hmm. I can see stuff like that. Yep. But you're buzzing by people's personal. I think they should be a, a thing where you can't go close to people's, like, personal house. or Like, like living areas and yeah, stuff. Yeah, like, almost like a no trespassing thing. Yeah. Like, I can't walk onto your property and walk in your driveway and look in your windows. But I could send my drone, just because it's not touching the ground, to buzz all around, do the same, have better eyes than me. Mm -hmm. So it's, mm -hmm. it's weird. I don't, I don't know how it's. I lot. agree. I mean, it's something like that, or even something that for a consumer, where because they have these different things out there. They have like cell phone blockers, like in some mm -hmm. businesses or schools and stuff like that. They have the signal blocker, and basically, I don't know if you've ever been in it, but there's been places where you don't get cell phone service. You're like, what's yeah. going on here? Well, there's not lead walls all around me, so why am I not? Well, there's actually there's actually blockers, like cell phone blockers, signal blockers. Mm -hmm. So if you had a signal blocker, because with drones, you can't fly them in, like, like if you go on, like, there's maps, like, on DJI. And, like, you can't fly so close to air zones, like, airports yeah. and stuff like that. It's automatic. Like, you won't, you won't even, let, it won't even let you lift off the ground. So, if there's something like that, like, residential areas and stuff like that, yeah. I don't know. It, this, is, this is new technology, and it's, it's like, it's advancing so quick. Well, what's going to happen 20 years from now? You're going to see, like... Are you just going to hear them buzzing around all the time? Are you oh, just going to be sure. used to it? For sure. 100%. You don't even know who's who. You don't even know what's Because Amazon's going to be, I'm sure they're going to be marked with those things as, as far as by the companies. But yeah, man, they're going to, it's going to be a new thing where you're going to see them all around. It just, it's, it's going there. It's, you know, it's, it's already there pretty much. Malfunctioning and all this. Well, falling on people, hurting on people, that's where the remote ID would come into play and those people yeah. would be held liable. Because, you know, Crazy if you hit world. somebody in the head, man, you could, you could kill somebody. Literally, man. It you got people retaliating too. And all that. Do you need to get labs for your injectable vitamins? No. So the only thing you guys need labs for, like hormone therapy and IGF-1 therapy. All the, the healing peptides, Nectar of the Gods, Hercules Potion, Titan Complete, Titan Up, Titan Ultra, ECA Stack Plus, like any of those other therapies, no blood work's needed. All you have to do is fill out the new patient paperwork and you're going to see our medical provider. You can either come in the office or if you guys are not located here, you guys will do it by FaceTime or Skype via telemedicine. They'll see you, you see them, they hear you, you hear them. It's all recorded and documented. So at that point, after that, you guys can order your therapies um, and they'll come straight from the U.S. Licensed Pharmacy to your doorstep. Yeah, real quick. And the new patient paperwork is actually quick. Yes. It's like a big phone book. you got to fill out a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. You can literally just pull up your phone and do it in like yeah. two minutes. Like it's it really quick. is. So yeah. my Myantis 12 military has those walls. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure they do. Uh, like a giant swamp of bees everywhere. So that's kind of what the drones are going to be yeah, like. Yeah, all that buzzing. It's going to be like big, big pack. It's like, yeah. like that's crazy. You're going to have drone packs. You know how people have like their bikers and gangs. And, yeah, we're going to be flying our drones tonight. Everybody meet up meet up, up with your drones. <laughs> yep. All right. So next question was, was all right, so what do you recommend for lean muscle mass? All right, I'll get to that one second. 
can you put glutathione in your shoulder? So yes, you can put glutathione in your shoulder. And I'd probably recommend doing it in your shoulder. Um, now it might sting a little bit or be achy for a little bit. I am. I am. I am. Intramuscular. All right. You can put it in your shoulders. You don't. You want to subcute it in your shoulder. Cam Life said, "What do you recommend for gain for gaining lean muscle mass?" So, like I said, make sure hormones are all complete dialed in, and then MK is going to be a good one as long as you can control, you know, what you're eating, water. Um, you know, there's there's a couple of good ones out there. And like I said, it really depends on you, but that well, also Hercules too. Hercules is another good one. If you take Hercules, even one ml a day. Like for a slow, steady period of time, that will actually put lean muscle tissue. Absolutely. If you blast it just before your workouts, it will too. But if you want to like have a steady, slow mm -hmm. gain, I would just say get Hercules and just run at least like one ML every day. Yep. And just run it for like two, three months, and it'll just be a slow, steady gain. And the more work you put yeah. in, and it's going to help you put in more work, the better results you're going to get out of what you're putting in. Yeah. That's the big one. So what's better, TRT or MK677 for muscle and weight gains? So Tony Reyes, both. Yeah, man. <laughs> I like, would say both. I, I, listen, uh, foundations are your hormones. Yeah, that should be the first thing. So you got to make sure your testosterone level is good, estrogen is where it needs to be, and all these things are all dialed in. Once you have that complete and that's ready, then you can start adding these different things on like building blocks, and they will help. Mm -hmm. So if you're on TRT or you're, you're, let's say your testosterone is optimal, you're at 900 already, everything is good there. Cool. Add the MK677, you should be good to go. If your testosterone levels are low, that you're going to want to fix first. Once you have that fixed, then you can start adding these different building blocks in and getting better and different results. So I think that was a good question. Slow and steady is always the best way. Always, always, man. Um, all right. So do you have to drink more or less water with MK? You're going to want to drink more. And th this is the reason why. So even if you're not taking MK, right, your body adapts. So if your body, you know, it, 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 it senses... We aren't getting enough water in. We're dehydrated, you know. After you, the, the, the big factor was, like, if you, if you ever went out drinking, the night before you might look more bloated or, or feel like you have more water retention. It's because mm. you do. Mm. Your body is absorbing and holding on to as much water as it possibly can because it doesn't know the next time you're going to give it water. Mm. If you're drinking water constantly through the day, you're usually going to lose more weight. You're going to detoxify the body more. The body knows, hey, listen, I have ample supply here. And you're usually not going to bloat like that. So I would drink more water on MK677. All right. Uh, Zandin, what's going on? EFIG Flex, how you doing? Sweever 130. All right. My 12. I heard that IGF-1 is bad for tests. Can you explain the pro and the con? So I don't know why IGF-1 would be bad for testosterone. Um, the reason never I, heard of that. I've never heard of that. Never, ever, ever heard of that. I've never seen any clinical studies diminishing that at all i have heard it the other way around if you have low testosterone this could affect igf1 levels too so and usually people that go on testosterone usually they get a bump in igf1 i've seen that in like a lot of blood tests I, you know i mean it's got to be hundreds of not a thousand blood tests where they you know they've came back with low testosterone igf1 levels were on the lower end now they went on hrt or trt and then igf1 levels have bumped and that's usually what it is. So IGF-1 is not negative on, on testosterone replacement therapy or testosterone levels in general. That has to do with more pituitary and growth hormone and then converting the liver to IGF-1. So no, you shouldn't have any issues with that, okay? All right, next, what we got here. So this is one of Big Drew's topics and a good one. Why yeah. swearing means you're intelligent and can be good for you. As soon as I read the headline, I was like, <laughs> okay, yeah. No, I'm sold. You can't, you can't tell me anything now. <laughs> I do swear more than often. I mean, obviously, you guys wouldn't know. I'm not doing it on the air, obviously. Yeah. But um, I'm a firm believer in, like, just say what you want to say if it's not hurting anybody. And That's I right. realize now, um, not now, but, you know, the past few years or so, I realize people that are, they swear more are usually people that have more going for them. They usually are people that have a better life. I'm not saying swearing is good. You have to. Right. I mean, obviously, you don't have to. If you Different don't swear. situations. I mean, this is just general. Want. You know, it's not like you have to swear to be a good person. That's completely yeah. not what I'm talking about. But I notice that a lot of people that have stuff going for themselves, if they own businesses, if they have money, if they have this, have that, they don't really stress too much telling other people what to do because they're happy within themselves. Mm -hmm. And they just are more freely not worried about word choice mm -hmm. whereas if it's someone who's um super religious lives in a bad neighborhood mm -hmm. doesn't really have that much money uh has you know drama in their life or whatever the case may be they're the ones oh hey, watch your language do this do that whatever it's just it doesn't make sense to me but back to this article 
um, shows a sign of intelligence. Now that I said that, when you first hear it, it's kind of crazy, but just look at the people that you know mm -hmm. that swear the most or mm -hmm. this and that, and usually it's people that don't care what you think, which is important mm -hmm. um, to a certain degree, and people that aren't critical of changing your thought. I don't know. I just yeah. But the science is in the article. I mean, it even breaks it breaks yeah. the whole thing down about. And not only that, it's a stress relief. If you've been swearing your whole life, or if you just want to get it out, like whether it's oh damn or you know oh, whatever, it's kind of like a stress relief. Where if yeah. you can't do it now, you have to you have to be muted. You have to hold everything in. I just don't really see what the big deal is with swearing or cussing. Yes, if it's kids, yes, that's different Absolutely. because you're teaching. But once you become an adult, who cares? Yeah, like, no, who cares? I mean, it really doesn't. Care. We got five yeah. minutes left, guys. So the benefits of swearing just emerged this last two decades. As a mm -hmm. result, the research on brain and emotion along with much better technology, the steady brain anatomy. So at that point, they've, they've seen this, you know, in clinical studies or research. Uh, and it's just really cool. So, I mean, I know Sharice, she cussed a lot. You know, I ain't going to lie. And, uh, you know, I used to swear, you know, to a certain extent, I think Sharice obviously has me swearing a little bit more. Or I just, listen, I have a lot more emotion. I really don't care what a lot of people think. Yeah. So I'm right there. So, I mean, there's there's a time and a place, I guess I'll swear. Like, I try, you know, obviously we're in public yeah. or I'm at a speaking event or something like that. I'm not going to, you know, start cursing out to everybody. But, yeah, man, emotion for sure. I get across. Um, I just hate when I hear, like, if I swear or say something and someone's like, oh, watch your language. And I'm like, okay. Like, I'm sorry. Is okay, kids wait, around? Hold on. Okay, hold on. First of all. Watch your weight. Right. Watch this. Watch right. that. Because you're doing a million. You're sitting there smoking a cigarette, telling me to watch my language. Right. Like there's so many avenues I could go with that. Yep. Like just if you want to smoke your cigarette, I'm not gonna tell you don't smoke. Yeah. Or it's gonna cause cancer. Whatever. Okay. It is what it is. Yep. I just don't choose not to smoke. Right. You know. So it's kind of like the same thing. Every you can choose not to swear. Every time someone says don't <laughs> swear, I'm like, are you are you literally perfect? I immediately look at them first and try to pinpoint something else that they're doing, and they have no argument for it. Yeah. They have yeah. no argument. Like you're either 100 percent perfect, or you're not perfect. Yeah, there's no in between. That's what it is, man. So don't worry about it, guys. Like I said, there's a time and place for everything. Um, I have had a blood panel and full blood workup about one to two months ago. Is that sufficient to forward and order receive treatment? Not looking for TRT. Yes, for sure. If you're not looking for TRT, you're good to go. Just fill out the new patient paperwork, and at that point, you'll see our medical provider, and you'll be good to go. Now, if you're looking for hormones, it needs to be within 60 days, and it needs to be all the blood testing that we need. Ants Tusa, what's going on? How you doing? I hope everything's well. Uh, the Dean McLean, what's going on? Frankie, not a pro. What's going on? JC Pita, 2412, what's up? Vima Coma Uda, what's going on? That's a hell of a name. Uh, Hulk Squad said E equals <laughs> FMC squared. I can't say it on here. <laughs> the Instagram might knock me down for it. Who knows? Uh, all right, so let's go on to the last one. This is pretty cool. So Michael Keaton is coming back as Batman in the new Flash movie. Really, really cool. Because I remember when the original first Batman came out and he was the first Batman. Mm. And that movie was just, it was awesome. Joker, Jack Nicholson. I mean, it was just, it was a great movie all the way around. Tim Burton did a hell of a job directing this movie and really did bring the comics to life at that point. And I remember back in the day, like, you know, there was a Superman's out with like Chris, Chris, uh, Christopher Reeves. Uh, stuff like that, but there wasn't really a good Batman movie that came out. And this, yeah, this I'm, Batman, I'm more of a Batman. Than yeah, Superman, guys, this so this, yeah. this set the tone, man. So um, to bring this back, so this is pretty cool. So Flashpoint is like the comic book, like it was a series basically where Flash can go so fast that he can go back and turn back hands of time. Like he can go back and change things, and that's what he did, and it would it would mess up or bring the alternate universe to life, mm -hmm. and that's kind of where you know for Michael Keaton's going to come into play where. Um, he's going to play, you know, Batman again. And I think they're going to bring other Batmans into this from different, um, different worlds or different earths basically, but it's going to be really, really cool. I mean, it's just, when you see this nostalgic guy, Spider-Man's coming out in December where Spider-Man's doing the exact same thing, the multiverse where they're going to have Tobey Maguire and they're going to have Andrew Garfield, which were the other Spider-Mans. Mm. Everybody's going to be on one movie. All the negative villains are going to come back, like Jamie Foxx, like it's Electro. It's like an Avengers of Spider-Man. Yeah, it's yeah, this multiverse thing. So it's going to be yeah. really, really cool. So it's kind of, I'm glad I got something to watch tonight. Like I've been watching so much. <laughs> there's so much bad stuff on the news right now with True. the shootings and the True. cases and all this stuff going on. It's like True. switch up. No more. I'm going to just watch yeah. something completely different. Absolutely. So if you guys are looking for something to watch tonight, if you have HBO Max, if you don't have HBO Max, I suggest you get it. The new Mortal Kombat movie launched today. This movie looks ridiculous. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and HBO Max has had Godzilla versus Kong. It's had some of these different like different movies that they release at the movie theater and on HBO Max the exact same day. So at that point, like it was definitely worth the fourteen ninety nine or whatever I pay for a month because I don't even got to go to the movies. You know, movie tickets a twenty day. bucks. You can't beat it. You can't month. beat it, man. And they have all different types of movies on there. So. Guys, check out Mortal Kombat. Man, I watched the first seven minutes because it's already online. It was ridiculous. So I'm really looking forward to this. My son's looking forward to this. If you guys played these games when you were a kid, this is just bringing back nostalgic memories. I remember the first Mortal Kombat that came out. I was like, eh, it was okay, right? Yeah. This one, rated R, it's going to be really brutal. Even in the first seven-minute nice. scene, it was brutal just to start off. So I'm really looking forward to this. What up, Antonio? My man's in here. Mopar's beauty. I hope everything goes good this weekend. They're doing, um, they're doing actually this uh, autism awareness um, benefit, and I actually sent out a whole bunch of Titan clothing you guys should be receiving today for the raffle to give away. So I hope that goes really good, and you guys are doing a great thing out there. So that's awesome. All right, got to wrap this back All right. up. All right, guys. So I will be on MK677 CJC 1295. Can I be on a lower cart intake? Yes, of course. You can always lower your intake of carbs if you want to. That shouldn't be an issue there at all. Um, just don't lower them too much. You know, you, you need some carbs, you know, just a little bit. You don't have to take them all the way out. All right, so events. So May 1st, we have our Festival of Speed Thoroughbred Edition weekend in Ocala. That's going to be awesome. That's next Saturday. After that, the weekend afterwards, that Saturday uh, is going to be May 15th. And we have New York Pro, which Titan Medical Center is the exclusive HRT and weight loss, uh, anti-aging, New York Pro in Tampa. In Tampa. In Tampa. In Tampa. That's going to be awesome. And then we, we have to go right from there. And we have Tampa Bay Swim Week, which we have 10 outfits of Titan Medical Center, bathing suits and such. They're going to be in that. So we're going to do another fashion show then. And then we have our St. Pete fashion show in September. But this one's going to be awesome. I cannot wait. It's going to be ridiculous. Uh, June 19th, Deke Warner. We're going to Orlando, Mid-Florida Classic. Big shot to Deke. That's going to be an awesome show. July 31st, Tampa Bay Jeep Fest. That was great last year. That'll be here in Clearwater again. August 7th, Tampa Pro. We're going to be doing something special for Tampa Pro that no other company has done before. So I'm looking forward to that. Big shout to Tim Gardner for letting us do that and having our back. Um, August 14th, NPC, Deke Warner, Florida State. That's going to be another great show, Orlando. September 9th to the 11th, St. Pete Fashion Week and Art. Uh, that's going to be great. 10 7, Olympia. That's going to be in Orlando. Super Bowl. That's a Super Bowl of bodybuilding, guys. Yeah. And it's going to be huge. Like, last year they had to put together in three weeks from Vegas to Orlando because of COVID. And they did a hell of a job. But I already talked to Tim and, like, the layoff of this. Like, last year I think they had, like, 10 vendors. It was, like, this really, like, narrow area and stuff. Yeah. They said they got 150,000 square foot. So it's going to be just like Vegas was. If you've yeah. ever been to that Olympia um, and that expo, it's ridiculous. It's going to be awesome. So we're really looking forward to that. And last year was kind of like a learning experience, too. It was sure. the first year, so they, they cleaned everything sure. up. It's going to be a great show this year. For sure. Big shout out to Cold Photo Works. I've seen all the great work you're doing with my girl out there and, uh, and Lance. You're doing a hell of a job, man. Keep taking those great photos, man. Uh, Fueled for Gains, how you guys doing out there? So that's the show, guys. We have to cut it short here because we're gonna get cut off on uh Yeah, on that's Instagram. it. We only got an hour on Instagram. <laughs> we got an hour on Facebook. That's pretty much it. We'll be right back next week, every Friday, two p.m. Titan Lifestyle. That's right. Check out John Tuesdays, six p.m. Titan. Yep. Uh, that's the Titan. Talk. Excuse Titan me, talk. Titan Talk. <laughs> and also Sundays, ABC. Right. That's right. That's and right. then uh, we're doing a live with Rachel on Wednesdays for Titan Net Time to talk about females and getting a healthy lifestyle and stuff like that. Female so, body was got to tune into her shows. They, they always do. Info. They always do. Info. Even for regular people, we're talking yeah. about how to get into a healthy lifestyle, nutrition points if you're just starting off so you don't have to be experienced or anything like that, and a lot of the other different things. So make sure you guys keep it locked on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, our TikTok is starting to blow up now. Also, YouTube, all these great videos are on there, instruction videos on how to do the injections, our, our therapy videos are on there, a lot of cool stuff. So go there, hit the all notification bell, subscribe, hit that on, on Instagram and Facebook in the little try that area too as well. So I'm John. I'm Drew. I'll see you guys next week. Have a great weekend. Later, guys. This is my